the second question is uh, from an anonymous questioner is it permissible to use traditional herbal medicine to decrease uh, sexual desire for those who can't uh, fast uh, does it have any effect in the future after marriage okay uh, first of all with regards to using uh, this kind of medication to suppress the sexual desire it is permissible provided that it doesn't have side effects so the answer is your second part of the question and uh, the pharmacist the pharmacognosist and uh, pharmacologist will be able best to tell you in this regard especially if you name a specific herb I'm aware of some but uh, they do give uh, side effects uh, over a long term but if you're talking about a particular uh, herb that you know or you have been advised to use uh, then maybe you can help you in this regard so it is permissible provided it does not leave the major side effects in addition to that there are certain types of foods and drinks that if the person were to avoid it would uh, normally decrease his sexual desire there are certain types of food which are known as um, uh, aphrodisiac they increase the sexual desire and you will be surprised that onion is one of them and uh, they're raw onions i mean and uh, there are some fruits some vegetables and so on so by trying to avoid that uh, reduce the amount of caffeine that would also reduce the sexual desire i'm talking of course from uh, a pharmacological background there